Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Elm Creek here in Farming Simulator 22 with me Siwadi. It is the start of a lovely new day and as you can see we have crop growing on our fantastically jumbo massively enormous field. Um, basically I took the opportunity to seed the whole field with uh, soybeans yesterday. So soybeans have been planted. Uh, the next step will be to obviously sort out the fertilising. Because the fertilising is quite ropey at the minute on the field. But yeah. Um, use the cedar on the back of the 7R to do the, uh, do the old um, seeding for me. So we've got, we're going to have a one massive harvest of... Um, one massive harvest of soybeans. And then we're going to look at splitting the field up into slightly more manageable chunks but what we need to do right now is get the oh there's a bit of wood there look you know what we do with bits of wood don't you chuck them over the edge <laughs> chuck them in the neighbor's garden right we're going to do some fertilizer spraying i have got a rubicon that i prepared earlier basically we're just going to fertilize to raise this field up to full fertilization uh, we may need to de-weed it at some point in the not too distant future if the weeds grow on it but yeah i figured a good soybean harvest big massive soybean harvest that should um give us plenty of money should give us a great income and then that will enable me to do some more uh, adjustment of land and stuff. Then we need to get onto this bit of land over here. Put a field on that. Maybe do it as a grass field so we can start doing grass type stuff. Grass work, uh, mowing, baling, all that good stuff. And making some money from that side of things. Um, like I say, we would like to get some of the animal pens maybe put in on this map. We also want to be able to buy some more land. I would love to be able to buy this field straight opposite us. Because I think that would be a nice addition to the farm as well. Especially right next to the silo there. Um, in fact, if I'm being perfectly honest, I'd like to buy that bit of land and I'd like to buy that bit of land. <laughs> I'd like to have access to all those jumbo fields. I think Elm Creek definitely sets itself up to be more of a, a big farming map than Hout Baylor on. I think there's a lot more big fields, big field possibilities on this map. Um, not to say that you can't do big fields on Hout Baylor on. I just think with Hout Baylor on, you would have to do a lot of... Um, tree removing and object removing to be able to get to a point where you can join fields together properly our pallets are, our pallets of honey are spawning quite nicely might have to go get a trailer soon so i can uh, get our um honey get some of our honey sold Maybe that can be job number two after we've got this field fertilised. Yeah, so this field... It had some issues with its fertilising, I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> it looked a bit like a barcode when you looked at it from the map screen. So, hopefully this sorts it all out. Use 
use up all our um, fertilizer. Those sprayers do tend to get stuck on the ground a little bit more in FS22. The booms, especially on uneven terrain. Yeah, I'm doing a good job covering all of the ground. All right, what we want to do now is we want to actually go up the map if that's possible. take out all that bit that needs fertilizing because obviously there was no fertilizer in the cedar we didn't do any the cedar was just the cedar it didn't have a fertilizer option on that particular model that i leased the lemkin so um We're getting all of this done. Just keep checking the map screen, make sure I get every last bit of the field. Oh. And just got a big chunk to do in the middle of the field. as well use all the fertilizer or as much of it as we can right that's that field sprayed Job done. All right, let's um, empty that. Turn that off. We'll get. We'll phone the um, shop to come and collect that later. They can have it back. Uh, I'm done with it for now. Um, what we're going to do is going to take the little tractor. We're going to go get a little trailer 
that we can put some of these pallets of um some of these pallets of um honey onto ah Just trying to figure out what I've actually got selected. That, those icons in the top left of the screen, I've probably said this several times, they don't really highlight very well and show me which piece of equipment I've got selected in my uh, in my machine on my machine. So it makes it very difficult when I've got multiple tools attached to a single tractor as to what I'm actually attaching and detaching. You know, I'm trying to drop the weight off the rear of the tractor so I can go get a weight from a uh, trailer from the store. I can't tell whether I've got the fork selected. I can't tell whether I've got the front loader attack uh, selected or whether I've got the tractor selected in that top left corner. I really wish they would highlight in a different color. I wish they'd be like red or yellow or something to show you which um, which tool you've got actually selected and equipped. Just a quality of life change there. Especially if it's not a device you can turn on. Just out of curiosity, have I got traffic turned on on this map? Oh. I thought I wasn't seeing any cars as I've been driving around the place. It's bit, the map's been a bit lifeless. I somehow managed to turn the traffic off. Whoa. Right, we got our trailer. Shall we go load it all with honey? Maybe sell some honey today. That could be kind of cool. Uh, don't have to worry about pallets from the greenhouses because everything from the greenhouses is being automatic, automatically sold. I also found a collectible off camera. A green pig here. There was a green pig on this sign that was a collectible. I wonder how many people spotted that in the video, in the videos and were waiting to see whether I was actually going to pick that up or not. <laughs> no one told me in the comments that oh there's a you know that 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 signs are collectible no one told me
Right. So I've got pallets now. So I'm going to lower that down, first of all. Switch the machine off. Right. Load the trailer up with all our pallets of honey. Da -da, da -da -da. Not bad for a day's production, is it? Um, this is just one day of honey. We've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 17 pallets of honey that's a lot of bee juice that's a lot of bee juice anyone who's watched clarkson's farms will know all about bee juice i've actually placed an order just recently online from diddly squat farm for a few little bits and pieces i might make a video on them when they come my diddly diddly squat farm experience picked up two pallets at a time really maybe that's chance in it but yeah we get these stacked somewhat close we can take these off and sell them then aren't we wonder if my bees are going to uh, in increase the yield of my soybeans because beehives are supposed to increase um, yield on crops planted close to them no idea if that extends to the the bees the soybeans or whether it's other crops that they're attracted to canola i would have thought would have been in one crop bees would have liked um sunflowers too Bee juice. We've got bee juice. Tons of bee juice. Oh, we're going to sell all bee juice. I love how the bees are so considerate that they all they put their bee juice in lovely glass jars for me. I don't have to provide them with glass jars and I don't have to uh, provide them with wooden crates. They're very clever bees, I have to say. Farming simulator bees are flipping geniuses. They really are. <laughs> and they're very clever. Very helpful. Oh. Don't throw the pallets. Last thing you want is a load of smashed glass jars all over the yard. And the bee juice. I mean, I'm sure the dog would love to lick up all the bee juice. Right. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else we can transport, really, at this point in time. Oh, hello. What have we got here? More pallets. need to get that bottom one they must have been waiting to spawn 
I'll pick that one up. It's it's in the ground. It's glitched. Uh, might have to put you on top. Yeah, how do I get that one out? Because that's in the ground. Uh. Let's see. First of all, let's strap all those ones on. So they're not going to go anywhere. Um. lower the ground i need to know what the lower button is um lower should be a not lowering oh it lowered it there did uh, that's a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, we need to smooth that out. Not happy that that doesn't to have any effect on my palette area. I don't like that now. And now I feel like I've broken all the all the ground. Move this out any. Fill in my pothole. Yeah. 
This area around here still needs a bit of TLC. Not quite where we want it to be. But yeah, that, that, that pallet is a problem. Because it's created a hole. Slowly <laughs> moving it, but I don't know what good that's going to do. Stay in my yard. There's a great big hole here. There's a hole here. Man, I've messed. I've messed up. I'm trying to get this flipping pallet out of the ground. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a pallet out. <laughs> uh, problem is I can't get it off the forks now. Uh, did get it out of the ground. Hey, guess what? There's a pallet. Now, if we go switch back to the smooth tool, just give this a quick smoothing over. Hopefully, that is uh, all good.
I don't know, it still looks to me like there's a hole right there. There's a great big lump here, look. level tool again feel like we need to I, I feel this area around where I am isn't isn't really leveling maybe that's done it maybe I need to move my character out of the way maybe Dolores needs to move Looks like it's on a bit of a hillside. Definitely a hill there now. Uh, I'm just wondering what I could do to try and stop pallets from clipping into the ground. Um, One's gonna spawn there. Right, we'll take these. We'll, we'll take these off and sell them. <laughs> one one day's worth of bee juice. Right, let's find out where we sell the bee juice. Johnson's Farmer's Market. Where is that? I believe. All the way up the top of the map. We get to go and have a drive then, folks. As we deliver... honey our hastily fastened and strapped on honey <laughs> but yeah sometimes pallets glitch into the ground at the moment and they can be a bit of a pain as you just saw to try and get out so you can actually sell them that's one of the reasons why on the greenhouses i chose the option just to sell the crop directly from inside the greenhouse rather than produce pallets to then go and sell unfortunately you don't get that option on um on the bee juice producing buildings you have to put down a pallet area 
on your farm and as a result um there's the risk that pallets of honey will um sink into the map I'm still not noticing any traffic. Looks like there might be a car coming towards me now. There seems to be a lot less traffic on this map from my experience anyway, from what I've briefly played in multiplayer on this map. There seems to be less traffic on this map than there is on, say, Hal Baileron. There's a lot of cars on Outbailon and there's a lot of cars on Erlengrat. Whereas on this map it feels a lot more quieter. If that's the correct word and expression to use. Well, according to this, I think I've got 2,567 litres of honey. Um, which means we're probably not going to get paid massive amounts of cash for this. I almost wonder if it'll cover the cost of the fuel to drive here. Two thousand eight hundred and thirty one dollars. Basically a dollar per litre that works out as. For every litre of honey we've pretty much got a dollar. So we need massive massive pallets of honey to make any kind of money out of that long term i think it'll be it's it's more interesting to see whether that does whether the bees give me uh more crop yield i think that's the thing that we should really more focus on rather than how many pallets of honey we get I don't think you're ever going to get rich from doing pallets of honey, but if the bees are giving you a 5 or 10% bonus to your crops, then obviously that's well worth doing and well worth having.
going the wrong way. <laughs> Let's have a trip this way, shall we? We'll have a little bit of a drive before I head back to the farm. Just to see if there's any collectibles I can discover on this map. thought for a minute there my game had crashed oh I thought uh oh we've got a lock up I'm not seeing anything obvious jumping out at me as a collectible I appreciate I'm probably not having a very in-depth look. You really probably need to get out and uh, have a run around. Like I probably ought to have a look under the railway bridge. Although I think that would be very inappropriate of giants to reward children for looking under on railway bridges. Anything? Oh, yeah. There's one on the roof there, look. Aha. Collectible. Found one. Found one. <laughs> I don't know if there'll be one in the train station. I can go and have a look in a moment. Have a quick run around the buildings here. Fans. Check the cars. Because I know on, say, how Baylor on, sometimes there was um, collectibles in the... Um, There's one. Like I say, I'm not spending hundreds and hundreds of hours searching around for them. Now, if I have a few minutes to spare, I'm having a quick gander as I'm driving around, especially if I'm going somewhere that I've not been before in the game. Like if it's an area that I've not travelled to on the map, then it's worth having a maybe a quick look round it. Just to see if there's any collectibles. Don't think there's any up here. In these bins. I'll have a quick run down here. Be very inappropriate. Oh, there is one lot. Just about to say it. Be very inappropriate of giants to put collectibles on a railway line. It teaches children bad habits, that does. So we found a couple. Like I say, we've got honey sold, but we need to keep our eye on the honey because I think we're going to have problems with that going forward. Um... Because that seems to keep getting, um, the pallets keep getting stuck in the ground 
that's definitely going to cause us an issue. Because I can't keep terraforming. Uh, am I going to go and look in any of those places? I don't think so. We probably want to be turning right now because uh, we're at the edge of the map. Here be monsters. some point off camera i'll have to come around and visit these places this is was one of the alternative farms wasn't it one of the alternative start locations so perhaps i need to have a hunt around here see if there's any collectibles Yes. Mm. Well, anyway, folks, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to make my way back to the farm. When we come back for the next uh, episode, uh, we'll see what's occurring with the soybeans that I planted. Yeah. And then we'll... Um, we might look at seeing what contracts are on the map we might go do some contract work just to bring in a bit of money whilst um waiting for the soybeans to reach harvest stage but yeah we'll give it a go so leave me a like on the video everybody uh subscribe to the channel and enable your notification bell if you're not already doing so leave your comments in the comment section down below and um don't forget to share the video everywhere you see fit with whoever you see fit i've been c Wally. this has been the elk creek map in my alternative let's play series take care of yourselves stay safe and i'll see you all again soon goodbye for now folks <laughs>